गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कसिंग दैट इज दिस सस्पेंस सस्पेंड सो यर सस्पेंड मीन्स द ऑर्गेनिजम्स विच कैन नॉट एबल टू माइग्रेट द ऑर्गेनिजम्स ऑर्गेनिजम्स विच कैन नॉट विच organisms cannot the organisms cannot migrate migrate but but they can escape they can escape they can and escape the stressful stressful environment environment then we can call this as a the suspend that means here they cannot move from one place to another place but they undergoes a different forms they undergoes a, a different forms to control to escape the a stressful environment to the a non stressful an environment up to a favorable conditions are a produces then it is we can call that as a this suspense so there are a various types of suspenses are presenting one we can already last year or last class we discussed that is first one is the sporulation sporulation or otherwise we can call this as a encystment encystment and second one is uh, the dormancy the dormancy and the third one is uh, hibernation hibernation and the fourth one is uh, an estivation and uh, lastly that is uh, the diaphase or diaphase so these are the uh, various types of uh, the an uh, suspense where the organisms are undergoing uh, into the different uh, that means to control uh, the stressful environment up to the a uh, favorable conditions are uh, uh, produces then we can call that as uh, the suspense so here there are uh, different types now here what is uh, an sporulation or encystment means uh, in certain bacteria in a certain uh, a bacteria bacteria fungi and euglena euglena here they make a, a wall like a thick they make they make a thick thick wall like structure wall like structure the wall like structure structure among around around themselves around themselves to control to control a stressful stressful environment and environment and we run meant up to up to a favorable up to a favorable conditions are produced up to favorable uh, the conditions conditions are produced so this is uh, where we can call that as uh, an uh, sporulation or we can call it as uh, an encystment that means they makes uh, a wall like a structure here it takes place the spores in some spores that is a fungi or bacteria or euglenas here they make a wall like a structure here they make a wall like structure around themselves for what means to control the stressful environment up to when means up to to produce a favorable conditions are produced they can able to presenting when favorable conditions are produced the breaks the walls and comes outside 
and they live as usual. That is uh, that condition we can call as a uh, sporulation, or otherwise uh, we can call them as uh, an encystment. So when these stages are taken place here, they reduce their metabolic activities. Here all activities which are taken place, they reduce their metabolic activities up to, that means their metabolic activities are reduced and their dissolved food material which is presenting that are utilized for their growth and development of the an organism. Such condition we can call that as a sporulation or an encystment. Next. Second one, that is a dormancy. Here also, here it is taken place in higher plants. In a, a higher plants. In higher plants, some veg and also the vegetative parts. The vegetative, vegetative reproductive parts. Vegetative parts. Vegetative parts which are presenting, they undergo uh, a condition called as, uh, that means uh, under, uh, in higher plants or vegetative parts which are presenting, they undergoing a stressful environment uh, into a condition called as uh, a dormancy. Dormancy means uh, this condition we can call as a resting conditions. When uh, up to a favorable conditions are produced, that means to control uh, a unfavorable conditions. The stressful conditions is it were to reduce the stressful uh, here the plants for example if you take in place a seeds higher plants uh, in a seeds or vegetative parts uh, which are conditions uh, they undergo uh, a resting conditions up to favorable conditions are produced once uh, they produce the favorable conditions uh, here they produce the means they can be able to uh, grow that means when favorable conditions are produced uh, they grow as usually for example, if you take a seed, seed if you take and place seeds, seeds we can be able to store for several years. For several, several years we can store, we can be able to storage. Once here the seeds which are presenting, they can store for several years. That means here unfavorable conditions are produced. Once they touch the water, what happens? Here they germinate. That means here favorable conditions are they available of the carbon dioxide, light, as well as, sorry, not carbon dioxide, oxygen, as well as the water and sunlight is available. Here they can be able to germinate. So such condition we can call that as a, a dormancy stage where the air, it takes place in higher plants where to control an stressful environment up to the a favorable condition to taking a rest. That condition we can call as a, a dormancy, dormancy a conditions. Next, if you take place in a hibernation, here hibernation means it is also called as a, a winter sleep. Here it is also called as a, a winter, winter sleep. That means to control an extreme cold condition, to control, control, to control extreme, extreme, to control extreme, a cold conditions, to control extreme cold conditions, the animals undergoing into a rest, that rest is called as a, an, a winter a sleep or otherwise you can call as a, the hibernation. Where for example, if you take place uh, the cold uh, pyclodermic organisms, either pyclodermic or homeo, homeodermic, that means cold blooded or warm blooded animals. Uh, if you see in here, like uh, amphibians, amphibians are uh, the fishes, amphibians, reptiles, uh, reptiles like here, take a bear, a bat, a squirrels. Here, what happens? Uh, they undergo uh, the a rest condition, that means uh, here they undergo to, uh, to control uh, an extreme conditions, these undergo, that means here cold condition is in an, a stressful environment. 
so when they control good they are going into a deep, deeper layers of the soil so that here the condition we can call as a winter a sleep where here they are undergoing a stressful environment up to a favorable conditions are a produces then we can call that as a, the hyper and nation where it takes place in both pyclothermic or homeothermic that means cold blooded organisms and warm blooded that means here cold blooded means the organisms which can change environment according to environment body temperature is changes then we can call them as pyclothermic if the constant of the body temperature remains constant and does not be changes from environment according to environment here the body temperature will remains a constant only there not be changes then we can call that as a the homeo adermic organisms where here hibernation is also called as a winter sleep where to control an extreme a cold conditions then the organisms are undergoing to a rest condition the rest is we can call as a winter sleep to escape the cold very cold a conditions next if you see in here an estivation here estivation we can say as a the summer sleep the summer sleep here summer sleep means here to control a high heat that means to control extreme high very hot conditions to control to control extreme to control an extreme hot conditions hot conditions that means here to escape the hot very heat condition and also from the a desiccation from the a desiccation desiccation means the losing of water from the body here what is desiccation means losing of losing of water from the from the body from the a body so we can call as a, a desiccation desiccation means a, here losing here to reduce the heat to reduce the heat and a, a desiccation desiccation means losing of the water which is present in our body here losing will be taken place to reduce the losing of water from the body as well as the heat here the organisms will undergo a rest condition the rest condition is called as a the summer sleep or otherwise you can call that as a an estivation so that is where that is taken place to control an extreme a hot condition we can call as estivation an extreme cold condition to control extreme cold condition we can call as the hyper nation next last one a diaphase or diaphos here it is taken place here it is taken place in in a delay of delaying developmental neuron that means in this it is delaying in the development during an advanced environmental conditions that means here it takes place the delay of delay of an developmental stages development development of the an environmental conditions of an environmental so here this is a taken place example if it taken place uh, a zoo planktons here uh, a zoo planktons where here uh, it helpful for uh, the development uh, that means the delay offing of developmental stage the larval stage is delaying uh, is a uh, taken place to control uh, the extreme uh, stressful uh, an environment uh, where up to a favorable conditions are uh, uh, produces the delaying is a uh, taken place uh, so the delaying of the a developmental stages during a stressful environment to the a non stressful up to a favorable conditions are produced in the environment then this condition we can call as a, the a diaphase so these are the a various types of a, the a suspense that is here the organisms cannot able to migrate but they are undergoing into an they are escaping the escaping the stressful environment up to a favorable conditions are a producing then this conditions we can call as a suspense there are a various types of a suspense are a presenting that is sporulation or we can call as encystment a dormancy a hibernation 
an estivation as well as a, the dia fas so here that is here we can get a estivation means in plants we'll get the arrangement of petal as the sepals and petals around the floral bud that is we can call as an estivation estivation here estivation and estivation they are differ from the plants to the and animals now coming to the next one that is an adaptations next next coming to the an uh, adaptations so here uh, what are this an uh, adaptations so here what are an adaptation means uh, here we can taken place as uh, the adjustment to the an uh, environmental that is morphological a uh, physiological as well as uh, the behavioral changes which is a uh, taken place uh, in an uh, organisms that means here uh, adjusting to the an uh, environmental conditions uh, adjustment uh, adjustment to the to the environmental uh, adjustment to the an uh, environment uh, to the to altitude to alti altitude uh, attribute the morphological attribute to the a morphological morphological physiological physiological and also the behavioral 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 changes so then we can call this as a an adaptation adopting adopting means uh, we have to adjusting the environmental situations uh, either uh, morphologically or the physiologically or the behaviorally that means we have to change uh, the structures of bomb um, externally we have to change as well as the physical body also we have to change or uh, the behavior of an organism should be a changing according to the an environment then we can call this as a an adjustment or otherwise we can call that as a an adaptation adaptation means adjustment to the environmental conditions towards the an morphological a physiological as well as the behavioral adaptations and uh, coming to the first one uh, adaptations in an animals adaptation adaptation of animals of uh, animals here uh, if you see in uh, the kangaroo rat kangaroo rat uh, here they cannot taken place the water they means they not used the water for their here the kangaroo rat kangaroo rat the the water is utilized water is utilized utilized by the by the oxidation of an oxidation of a fat 
that means the kangara rat does not be taken place that means they cannot uh, taken place the water into the body why means uh, here uh, the oxidation that means by the oxidation of the fat by the an oxidation of the fat what is the water is produced that water is utilized for their uh, metabolical uh, and activities only here the car the kangara rat does not be taken place externally they cannot take uh, the water from the uh, water bodies why means uh, here uh, the water how the water is produced means uh, the water which is produced by the an oxidation of the fat here the water is produced so that water is utilized for their metabolical and activities and also here the concentration of urea is also is more is taken place the concentration of urea the concentration of the concentration of urine is also the concentration of urine is a more why means here uh, dilute will not be why means water is not be taken by so that uh, the concentration of urine is also that means they secrete a less water that means they secretes uh, the less urine that urine which is secreted also that is uh, a high concentration of urine is uh, producing that is uh, where the adaptation is uh, taken place in the uh, kangaroo uh, rats now coming to the an uh, adaptations in an anim- in plants and uh, adaptation adaptation of a uh, uh, plants so here uh, how the adaptations are taken place uh, in a uh, plants means uh, in a uh, xeric plants in a uh, uh, xerophytes here uh, what are xerophytes means uh, the organism the plants which are presenting in the uh, desertic conditions uh, desertic uh, a conditions that means here uh, desertic conditions means uh, they cannot able to get uh, a water so here uh, a xeric condition that means the adaptations uh, the organisms which are present in these xeric conditions uh, are in desertic plants where they are presenting uh, here uh, they modified into different uh, structures what are that means uh, here uh, a thick cuticle a thick uh, a cuticle formation is a uh, taken place what is a cuticle means uh, a waxy coated layer is presenting uh, a waxy coated a waxy coated uh, layer is uh, presenting uh, above the a thick cuticle is presenting uh, that is waxy coated layer is presenting above the uh, leaves so that what happens here to reduce the rate of transpiration reduce uh, reduce the transpiration and also here will consist of uh, the sunken stomatas sun can stomatas here uh, the normal step uh, normal shape of the stomatas are uh, either uh, bean shaped or dumbbell shaped but here sun can means they are uh, modified to reduce the rate of uh, transpiration so here the sunken stomata is helpful for reducing the transpiration that means these are uh, that these are uh, closed in a day time the stomata are uh, day time they are uh, day time day time closed and uh, night time they are opened night time they are uh, opened they are opened so such type of stomata are called as uh, the sunken stomata that means here uh, the sunken stomata that means these stomata are mainly helpful for the transpiration to to reduce the rate of transpiration to losing of water from the a uh, plant body here what happens uh, the stomata are uh, the sunken stomata are uh, day time they are closed so that here transpiration will not be taken place and night time here uh, the uh, stomata are opened so such type of uh, stomatas uh, we can call as uh, the sun can uh, the stomatas and uh, in a plants like if you take a place uh, in a plants like uh, the opuntia
in plants like uh, an opuntia here uh, the ones uh, here the spines formations are taken place the entire body the entire the entire body is made up of made of uh, made of uh, spines that means here uh, the body is uh, covered with a uh, spines uh, for the to escaping from the uh, predators or from the and uh, predating or organisms and also here uh, this uh, the helpful for uh, the spines are helpful to reduce the rate of uh, transpiration and here uh, the stem the stem is uh, the stem is modified into a leaf like a leaf like structure called as a philoclade a philoclade so what is a philoclade means here the stem is modified into a leaf like a green flattened a green a green flattened a leaf like structure is called as a the a philo a clade where here to reduce the rate of uh, the transpiration that means here uh, a thick uh, a waxy cotyledonous layer is presenting along with this uh, in the inside the stem that means uh, the leaf is modified the stem is modified into leaf like structure where uh, the water is stored in the form of a mucilaginous uh, structures so these are uh, a storaging will be a uh, taken place uh, in the uh, plants and also here in plants here to reduce the rate of transpiration that is here the photosynthesis is taken place here a specific a specific photosynthetic pathway is taken place a specific a specific photosynthetic specific photosynthetic synthetic pathway pathway that that is called as a cam c a m cam that is a crusolinic am crisolenic acid metabolism that is a crisolene c r u c c sorry crisoli crisolene c r u o l crisolene acid acid metabolism a metabolism so this pathway we can call as a cam pathway that is crulone crulone acid metabolism where we can call as a the cam pathway where here it is helpful for uh, to reduce the rate of that is a specific type of photosynthetic pathway will be a uh, taken place uh, which helpful for the the stopping of uh, the closing of stomata uh, in uh, the closing this pathway here uh, it helpful for the closing of stomata at day time and uh, the stomata are open it uh, at night uh, time that is uh, that pathway you can call as a cam uh, a path uh, away next uh, coming to the an uh, uh, adaptations uh, in an uh, in, in an a uh, uh, cold regions and adaptations of animals in cold climates adaptations of animals adaptation of animals in a cold climate here uh, it shows that uh, here elin's rule elin's rule it shows that uh, the elin's rule that means here what is elin's rule it means uh, here in the in the cold region animals in cold climated animals uh, here will consist of uh, the that means ear lobes are very short structures are presenting uh, then here we can called as uh, that having uh, a shorter ears and limbs here will having uh, a shorter ear and uh, limbs to minimize the a heat loss that means here uh, elens rule according to this uh, elens rule in climatic in climate in, uh, in uh, cold climatic animals cold climatic uh, animals uh, here consist of uh, consist of uh, a short 
shorter ears and a limbs for the for to reduce the loss of heat that means to reduce to reduce uh, loss of reduce uh, loss of uh, loss of a uh, heat so that region this uh, rule we can call as uh, the elens uh, a role uh, where we can take and place uh, in this uh, will having so the will having uh, the elens role that is a shorter ears as well as limbs are limbs short li short ears and uh, limbs are presenting short limbs so what what means to reduce the rate of uh, the loss of heat mainly taken place uh, in the an organisms and also here uh, it is uh, taken place in uh, animals uh, see in aquatic animals uh, if you seen in aquatic uh, aquatic uh, animals in aquatic animals uh, here will having for example if you take a seal here uh, the seal will consisting of uh, a fatty structure is uh, presenting uh, the fatty structure that is uh, a fat layer a fatty layer is uh, presenting uh, that fatty layer is called as a plumber where here this plumber will acts as an uh, insulator insulator that means here the plumber will acts as insulator means it help it prevents the losing of heat from the a body in the cold climate regions that is in a in cells or dolphins if you see in will having a fatty layer is presenting a fatty layer the thick fatty coated layer is presenting that thick fatty coated layer is called as a plumber this plumber will acts as an insulator what are insulator means here these what are insulator means these are it prevents what are insulator means it prevents the loss of heat from the a body so they are called as a an insulator so that is a taken place adaptations in a, an a cold animals in a, a cold a climates next coming to the adaptation in high altitudes animals adaptation in high altitudes adaptation in high altitudes high altitudes so here the any going into the high altitudes here it this condition is called as a, an altitude altitude sickness that means here when you going when moving from uh, equatorial to the uh, plains when you moving up into the air here uh, the rate of transpiration is uh, more is uh, taken place that means here oxygen cannot able to uh, uh, available for the body so here such condition uh, that means when moving uh, moving in high altitudes uh, high altitudes this condition we can call as uh, altitude altitude sickness sickness so that what happens means uh, here it containing uh, the symptoms are produced that is uh, a nausea and also shows uh, the halt uh, the heart palpitations and also a fatigue here it shows that uh, the nausea n a u u yes sorry n a e nausea nausea fatigued fatigued and a heart palpitations pal palpitations that means nausea means uh, a warm thing like uh, sensations are uh, taken place as well as uh, fatigued fatigued means here uh, the rate of heartbeat will be uh, gradually an increasing in nature 
and also the heart palpation heart palpation means here fluctuation of heart beat will be changes so this is the uh, symptoms where it takes place uh, in the and a high altitude that is nausea fatigue as well as uh, the high heart palpations so here when these are taken place this is due to the an atmospheric of high altitudes so here what is what is the reason means when going into high altitude here atmospheric atmospheric pressure is increases atmospheric pressure increases so when atmospheric pressure is increasing uh, here what happens uh, the body does not get a sufficient uh, sufficient uh, sufficient your body does not get uh, the body body does not uh, does does not get got uh, does not get uh, does not uh, get the sufficient sufficient and oxygen so here what happens oxygen level is oxygen availability is not be taken place so that what happens here the atmospheric pressure is increase when pressure is increased the volume is decreasing so that here what happens the sufficient amount of oxygen is not provided by the an body so what is the reason that means to reduce the rate of the high altitudes means here the body should have to increase the blood vessels here the body rbc rbc how to and increase increasing the increasing the amount of increasing the amount of an rbc cells so that here when more increase rbc cells here will get the more oxygen more more oxygen is taken place by the taken by the rbc cells so that here we can able to get a, a sufficient amount of oxygen will be able to a survival that is mainly the component of oxygen loss will be taken place that means here when rbc increasing the atmosphere that means rbc count is increases and you moving all the red blood cells also increases when our red blood cells are all increases here a more oxygen will be absorbed by the red blood cells so that here we can able to get a sufficient amount of an oxygen is available for the an organism while moving into the an high altitude why here <coughs> why here red blood cells have to increase means here to increase means to control the, the atmospheric pressure here red blood cells that means sufficient amount of oxygen will not be available so that here they have to increase the red blood corpuscles when increase red blood cells here more oxygen will available when while moving into the high altitudes and coming to the last one that is adaptations in behavioral changes adaptation adaptation in a behavioral behavioral changes here a behavioral changes when the organisms are taken place in some organisms here in some animals in some animals they undergo the camlo camlo flame camlo flame that means camlo flame means uh, the changing the changing changing the body changing the body according to the an environment or changing the body structure according to the changing the body color according to the an environment changing the body according according to the environment that means here for example here red color environment is presenting the body color also will changes into red color if it is a green it is a, a green it is a brown here when it is enters into the soil here soil is a brown color so the organism is changes into the a brown a color 
so according to the environment here the body color the body color also will be a changing then such condition we can call as a, a combly a flame where it is a <coughs> one of the a behavioral a changes and in some organisms here the heat loss is a taken place and in in cold condition here heat is losing what happens they moves towards the sun that means they moves towards the sun and able to get the heat from the sun and again when increasing the concentration of heat in the body they moves into the shady places and in some organisms here they moves they are hibernate are they buried in the a deeper layers of the soil so that they can able to get a sufficient sufficient amount of the heat will be produced by the a body that means on the layers of the soil they are presenting so they can able to get heat from the body so that is mainly adaptations are taken place in an a behavioral adaptations that is it is a cambium flame where here according to body environment the body color also will be a changing according to environment the body color also will be changing then with this we can call that as the a combi flame so here is the example we can take and place a lizards here lizards only not lizards in mammals in bats insects that is butterflies are also changes according to the an an environmental this will be a taken a place and also in some the bark they use the bark in the sun and absorbs heat when the body temperature is increasing they move away to the shady places and lastly here some species burrowing into the soil that means they burrowing into soil to hide and escape escaping from the as escaping above the above over heat that means if more heat is taken place is more heat is producing they enters into the buried into deeper layers of the soil and they buried into the soil to escape the over heat these are the according to the adaptations where they are taken place in a behavioral changes so here there are mainly we are discussed the adaptation that means they have to adjust to the environment according to the morphological physiological as well as a behavioral changes should be taken place then we can call that as adaptations we have studied in that is plants animals in cold animals so that is animals in a cold climate animals high altitudes and lastly the behavioral changes so in a next class we'll discuss that is the population attributes how this altitudes will be taken place in this altitudes we will discuss what is mortality natality as well as immigration emigration and also we have used the exponential growth as well as the potential growth that means j shape curve growth as well as the sigmoid growth curve how it will taken place that will be discussed in the next class